And in the day to, to survive, we, we, we cannot uh, um, survive on excitement. Uh, especially creating those opportunities for the youth is, is critical at this moment. And in relation to, to make sure that kids know that it's okay to fail as well. You can be trying something, just fail, but get it applicable in the real world. Put skills to use. I was lucky enough to actually find the uh a competition uh, part of Makerspace that basically offers seed grant to innovations that tackled uh, water challenges, electricity challenges, um, entrepreneurship, as well as agricultural challenges. And the Kumasi Hive is like a co-working space and also uh, a maker space, giving opportunities to young people uh, from the local universities in Kumasi and also those who are uh, recent graduates to explore the use of 3D uh, printers and also explore the use of uh, other make, maker tools uh, to be able to address some of the challenges um, that uh, we find locally. There is this, uh, we call it uh, Silicon Road in Nairobi, where there's a huge population of hubs, startups, and now Gearbox, the makerspace. We need to think about ways in which the interest of the youth can match the expectations and the opportunities of the future. The maker movement provides exactly that. Very interesting technologies for, for the youth to engage in and to allow them to have a platform to develop new products and the, the, the future technologies.